Hello YouTube and welcome into another part zero video for our fall, winter, summer. It's the yearly A&W challenge. Uh, I am the game mechanic here with you as always. Today we're talking about some Teddy Roosevelt. Um, he is sort of the, uh, he, he's like the milk toast, basic, like middle of the road, like good enough type leader, uh, but not outstanding leader. Uh, in Civilization VI. So let's talk about why Roosevelt, Roosevelt Corollary leads his abilities here. Units gain plus five combat strength on their home continent, plus one to uh, the appeal of all tiles. All tiles, not just the park's tiles. All tiles in the city with a national park. So the five combat strength on your home continent um, is often good because as you've noticed throughout these challenges and games, uh, we're often just on one continent, um, which is really, really sad as far as amenity distribution goes. Um, but really, really good if you have a plus five combat strength bonus uh, on your home continent. So that's, it's actually fairly relevant on Deity. It wipes out, um, it generally wipes out the uh, AI's plus four combat strength against you. It will help you deal with barbarians. Um, and it's just pretty darn good. Uh, couple that with like Defender of the Faith. And he's a very, very difficult civilization to take over. Um, as you have seen, have not seen in a couple, I don't know. I don't even know where, I don't even know what day it is. I don't know where we're at this challenge anymore. Um, but yeah, so it's it's pretty darn strong. The one appeal to all tiles in the National Park. Um, so getting a National Park in every, uh, in every city, specifically ones that are going to have seaside resorts, is usually a good idea. It, it it's, seems like a small amount of tourism, but once you... Once you add in the extra appeal from like Eiffel Tower, uh, and then you also get to computers and you're doubling those yields, it, it, it does start to add up late game. Um, and, and, and he is sort of a late game tourism sip, which can be could be reasonably strong. Um, so so all of that said, uh, culture-y and, and a little defensive, so decent for militaristic stuff uh, as well as culture victories. Um, so pretty pretty darn good for me. I uh, not 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 bad at all. Uh, again, not outstanding at any particular thing, but you know, good. Uh, Founding fathers. Uh, I actually like the old version of this better, but currently the di since since rise and fall, the diplomatic policy slots in your government are converted to wildcard slots. It gives you some flexibility. Um, it's it's not often something you're going to. You're not usually going to just skip your diplomatic policies. Um, th those are the green ones. Uh, you, you're often often not. Like you, you, you're going to want those, um, but the ability to go, oh crap, I'm getting attacked or something. I need, I need unit production, unit maintenance. I need walls. I need that, you know. So, so having some, having some flexibility with your policies and not having to have a a a, a, a green or diplomatic policy slot can, can be can be useful as well. Um, it also makes like the potato palace pretty good um, because that winds up being just another forbidden city, uh, and, and so that's that's pretty darn good. Um, I actually, I think in my rankings here, this is a little high. Uh, I think he's somebody who's gotten tweaked a little bit uh, in my in my newer rankings. So check those out as well. Uh, just follow the link below. So um, it, it, this is reasonable, uh, although although not game changing either. Um, the P fifty one Mustang and the Rough Rider kind of combined into one unit. Um, some units have two, or some civs have two unique units. Uh, some only have one. So kind of the max rating for me is uh, those two combined. Uh, the Mustang being just basically unusable. I mean, you're you're in order to make airplanes a thing in Civ 6, you have to, you know, reach around your ankles to scratch your head. Like, you just, it's so convoluted, like, it's so not efficient. It's fun, and, and they look cool and stuff, um, and so have at it if that's, if, if you enjoy it. Also, starting starting games in later eras uh, can, can be fun as well, um, so so that's a time to use air combat. Uh, but otherwise, it's just, it's so, it, it's so late, you have to build aerodomes to get it. Uh, and then honestly, like your tech at that point should be good enough that you're, 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 this unit should be obsolete within turns, just a few turns, uh, if your science is that good and that's how you're warring. Um, so kind of a crummy unit. Um, the Rough Rider is slightly better, although you cannot pre-build this. So it runs, it, it, it just rub, runs into that issue of any of these civs that don't have an upgradable unit. It, it, you have to get to the tech and then start building them. Uh, and, and that's just, that's just slow. Um, and, and not really efficient. So, um, so it, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's industrial zone. It is actually an industrial zone, heavy cavalry unit. So it's a little bit weird. Um, but you can build that and your regular, the regular cavalry at once, uh, 10 combat strength on Hills, which is quite good. And lower maintenance cost is good too. Um, and, and as they kill units, you get culture. Um, so that's 
okay. <laughs> you you can have some fun with Rough Riders. It, it's a neat unit. I just wish you could pre-build it. Um, and if you could do that, then it'd be then it'd be perfectly lovely. Um, Film Studio is kind of a bummer as well. Um, so this is your uh, uh, broadcast tower. Um, so you don't get to build it faster. Uh, but it does give you a, a tourism bonus for late game civs. So 100% extra tourism uh, from that particular city towards civs in the modern era. That is, that does include modern era and 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 beyond, which I either didn't originally think that it did, or um, or they've changed it. Um, probably always just worked that way and isn't isn't great in the description here. Um, so it's, it's it's just so so late. It it can shave off maybe a couple turns at the end. But there's no there's no crazy benefit to it um and and just this stuff being so so late is is kind of a bummer so um it's it's fine uh you know uh, late game tourism civ or early domination civ uh you can play teddy as either but no no real boost to anything religious or um or or scientific um and you do need good science to carry a uh, a cultural game as well so just kind of a, a kind of a mushy middle civ uh kind of kind of right there in the middle uh, but we, we actually, uh, we're, we're going to go out of our way to take in, is, is, as much advantage of the uh, tourism and uh, and cultural stuff as possible. So this will be a cultural teddy game. Uh, it, it winds up being a lot of fun. We have some uh, interesting neighbors and some some cool things that, that are going to happen in this game. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. Thank you for watching.